morning. It's 10 o'clock on Wednesday, December the 8th. These are the stories we're covering live here on Sky News today. It's pictures like these which appear to be a sticking point to a historic peace agreement in Northern Ireland this morning. Ian Paisley's Democratic Unionists say there's no deal unless they get photographs of the IRA's decommissioned weapons. Sinn Féin says the IRA is not prepared to submit itself to such humiliation. So can anything be salvaged from Tony Blair's trip to Belfast later today? We're there live to find out. Are we failing to save the planet? The government will reveal today whether it's hitting its targets to cut greenhouse gases. Climate change is the priority for the British presidency of the G8 and the European Union next year. But the latest figures are expected to show that ambitious pledges to cut carbon dioxide emissions are not being met. We'll be hearing live from the Friends of the Earth in a moment. And the Defence Secretary, Jeff Hoon, is visiting British troops in Iraq this morning amid fresh calls for an investigation into the number of civilian deaths since the beginning of the war. An open letter from former senior diplomats, military officers and bishops proposes an independent inquiry to, in the words of the letter, establish with the greatest possible accuracy the number of people killed or injured, along with the reasons behind the casualties. We'll be speaking to one of the signatories later this morning. Live from the Sky News Centre, Sky News Today, with Martin Stanford and Julie Edgingham. Coming up at 10.30, we'll be discussing the latest torturous twist of the peace process in Northern Ireland with a panel of experts. And you can have your say too. We'd love to hear from you. News at sky.com is the email address, 84501 for text messages. First, though, let's get a full news update. Here's Martin. Well, that's our main story this hour, Julie. Hopes appearing then to be fading for a deal to revive power sharing in Northern Ireland today.